for example five, a long sheet of tin 20 inches wide is to be made into a trough by bending up two sides until they are perpendicular to the bottom. How many inches should be turned up so the trough will achieve its maximum carrying capacity? Now, it doesn't give you any specific um, length of tin this is. It's 20 inches wide, but it could be five feet long, I don't know, it's, it's some length. But what I want you to see is that we're looking for the maximum carrying capacity, maximum volume here. What you need to recognize in order to understand this is the base of this is a rectangle. That's going to be modified each time. The width, or I should say the depth of this thing, the, if, if we're looking at it as a cylinder or a prism, we usually call that the height, the distance between the bases. That's going to be the same always. This never changes. So whatever it is, it, it is what it is. Okay? If I can make this the biggest possible, then the biggest possible number times the same number is going to make the biggest volume, right? So by maximizing this rectangle, I'm going to be maximizing the carrying capacity. So limit it down to that question. So I want the biggest area I can possibly achieve. The area of the base is going to be the length times the width of the base. And if we had a 20 inch piece of tin, we're folding up x inches on both sides. 20 minus 2x is left for the bottom. x is the, the um, width of each rectangle. So 20 minus 2x times x would be the area formula. To get it looking like the last two problems, I want to multiply that out, get general form. Okay, so the area formula is going to be negative 2x squared plus 20x. Notice it's quadratic in form, creating a parabola like we've already seen. If x is 0, my area is 0. If x is 1, my area is 18. 2 would be 12. That's all right. 240 minus 8 would be 32. Okay, so by changing the dimensions here, we're going to get different areas, all right? Um, I can see it's a parabola. x squared has a negative 2 in front of it, telling me that if I were to graph it, it would look like this, meaning it hits a maximum or a highest point. The maximum is going to occur at the vertex. So at this point, it's the same question the last question was. Determine the highest point this will attain. Okay, so we find the x-coordinate of the vertex. It's negative b over 2a. So that's negative 20 over negative 4, which would be 5. And then I simply have to evaluate a of 5. And that gives me 25 times negative 2 is negative 50. 20 times 5 is 100. Maximum area is 5 or 50. Okay. Now it's important we answer the question. Okay. The maximum area of that is possible is 50 square inches. Because that's if I'm if I'm putting x in, I'm getting a out. X is a dimension, so it's in inches. A is an area, so it's in inches squared. Okay, so we're getting ordered pairs like that. The question says how many inches should be turned up so that the trough will achieve its maximum capacity? So are they looking for x or a? How much should be turned up is x, right? So we actually have the answer right here. The, where the vertex occurs, which is 5 comma 50, this x attains the highest value here. So the answer they're looking for, how many inches needs to be turned up, is the x corner of the vertex, 5 inches. If they had given me this number here, if I knew exactly how long this piece of tin was going that way, I could actually find the exact volume. And it might have said, what is the maximum capacity of this trough? And that would be a situation where the outcome of A would then be multiplied by H in order to figure out what the maximum volume is. But in this case, how many inches need to be turned up? We're looking for X. Once we got here, we were actually done with the problem. I want one extra step there, just for fun. But um, just keep that in mind that when you're asked to maximize or minimize in this chapter, it's going to be this variety of problem every time. You're supposed to create, hopefully, a quadratic function and then you just apply the vertex formula to find where the vertex is. Upward turning has a minimum, downward turning has a maximum, and that's what you're looking for each time. And you need to interpret the question to know whether you're looking for the x or the y coordinate in each case. Most times it's the y coordinate, this is a situation where the x coordinate happens. So.